Well, I joined the Brazilians, honestly, because they asked. That's really why. I, I was going to be a mechanical engineer. Like, I like math, I like science, knowing how things work. I really wanted to change the world, and I saw these people as being really influential and, and significant in terms of change the world. I joined the Brazilians because I had a sense that I wanted to serve people. I enjoyed being with people. Uh, and it was only later on that I sort of got into the whole teaching thing. I was uh, being trained as a teacher at that time. And I went into um, first year teaching at the Edmonton Public and Edmonton Catholic School Board. I was working in Houston, Texas, and attending St. Anne's Parish, which was run by the Brazilian Fathers. But then one day in my third year of university, a priest approached me and he said, you know, I've noticed that you come to daily mass. And uh, after sort of beating around the bush for about 20 minutes, he said, have you ever considered becoming a priest? So I was first a parishioner there. I was involved in the young adults group. And, and so I got to know the Brazilians through being a, a member of the parish. That was my first contact with them. Since I was six years old, I think I wanted to be a teacher. And when I went to St. Michael's College School in Toronto at the tender age of uh, 14. It wasn't until uh, much later in life, I was teaching high school actually, and I was at a very impoverished inner city school, um, and I recognized that what my kids needed more than any government assistance, more than even education, more than anything, was hope. They needed to know that there was a way out of the life that they were living. It's like I had never really thought of it when I was a kid or when I was a teenager, the idea had never occurred to me. I was going to be an engineer. My three best teachers, I had many good teachers there, but my three best teachers taught me English and religion and math. I did well in those classes because of them, and they were all Brazilian priests. And I came to learn at that school that I could be a good teacher, which is what I thought I wanted to be, and I could be a priest, which was another idea that was developing in me. And when I looked at my own experience, I said, well, what gave me that hope? The only thing I could think of that really gave a permanent sense of hope that was untouchable by human circumstances was the church. Like, I didn't know what a religious priest was. I didn't know there was a, set, a distinction to be made between religious priests and diocesan priests. Now I know the difference for sure. I thought priests did what's done on Sunday, and that's it. Like the sacraments, you know, like reconciliation, first communion, marriages, funerals, and uh, of course the Eucharist. I thought that's what priests did. I didn't know that priests also taught or that they work in hospitals or they do mission work, go to different countries and, you know, proclaim the gospel there. I had no, my, my idea of priests was very, very small and limited. It was confined to my experience of the church of the time was just going to Sunday Mass. Then I looked more seriously at the Brazilians, at religious life, at diocesan priesthood, and I really liked what the Brazilians were doing, that they were teachers in schools and universities, but that they also had parishes, which I thought was the realm of diocesan priests only. As you know, my time in university um, went on, it's, my faith became more important to me. And it just, it just, it took time, it just sort of matured and then someone sort of recognized it and said, you know, you would be, you know, have you ever considered becoming a priest? Well, I, I would tell anybody that's discerning priesthood, um, take it one step at a time and, and then learn to enjoy the process because it is really remarkable that over time um, we find ourselves uh, being qualified for this call, as the saying would go. Um, and, and God really does transform our lives in the most remarkable ways. Mm -hmm.